Hello, I'm Zardus. Grab some coffee, sit back, and relapse as you learn about anarchy in City Skylines 2. So, today is another modding Monday, and today we are going to talk about the mod Anarchy. This one you will probably know from City Skylines 1. It is very similar to what that was. If you go into roads, there are some things that work differently. So you can go to roads and then you come up here to toggle anarchy or of course control A will toggle it as well. And if you're watching the chirpy over in the corner, that is another way to tell that it is on. And when it is on, it can disable all the error chips. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff like build a road through your harbor or build a road right through where your uh, ship will go and stuff like that with the roads. But more importantly, there are some things down here that get added that are very useful. Elevated, ground level, you can do a tunnel, you can do constant slope, you can do expanded elevation range, which will allow you to do a super tall thing. You can uh, slide the elevation step here, but like, look here, we can put this road super, super high. A 2,000 foot high road with a key. It's like this giant wall has suddenly been added to the city. Yeah, well, uh, I didn't do it with the key, actually. But it, yeah, so you can see the different stuff that you can do with it. Now, that might lead so, to some unwanted effects. Like, now I have this... Uh, well, actually, that should clear out with that. But I do have, you know, a giant road here that I can get rid of. And then other things it could do is uh, just kind of annoy you that you have to click elevation steps over and over and over and over and over again. But really, uh, it, it could potentially have some things that your buildings and things aren't working quite as well as you want. And that is something you can pay attention to. But a key, you can tell it which side of the road your key is going to be on. So if we bring this elevation step down and we go like this, say, you can see we've got the key on this side instead of that side. If we change it and then do upgrade, we can switch that. And so now we have much more control over the keys using Anarchy. Then another thing you can do is detailing. So let's talk about that really quick. If you go to the landscaping menu, you can come in here and of course, go over to pathways. Pathways can be done with Anarchy now too. You can put them through whatever you want when Anarchy is on. You can do uh, surfaces as part of the base game, but then we've got stones. You could come in here, say you wanna add a hot tub with uh, stones. You can come in here and you want residential to find a hot tub. And then we can come in here and get our pool with rocks sort of thing. A nice little ode there to some great uh, city skylines history, if you recognize it. And you can go like this, and then you've got a hot tub right in the rocks. So that is one thing to do. Then you can also come in and say we want to add just a little bit to our park here. Well, we can do that. now. We can come in and we could add a gazebo over in this corner perhaps yeah like right over the uh sandbox there and then we could come into the residential props where we have more playgrounds we could add a second playground here which could just kind of make this whole thing <laughs> seem a little bit like a like epic playground now, unfortunately, that table is kind of in my way for that, but you could get more playground stuff. You could get a tool shed in here. You could get this little playground for like maybe a little kids over here. Great. And then you could get another swing set and you could see all the fun that you could have with this. You could even put a manufacturing thing in the middle of your park or right over a, a car. Speaking of cars, you could even come in and put some junk cars out there. You could you could use this to build a uh, junkyard now. Because then you can also use Move It. 
Now we're combining mods a little bit, but you can raise this up and then put it on top of other cards. And so there you can get quite a bit of detailing with your Anarchy mod. And of course, trees as well can go wherever you want them. You could get trees in the middle of that car. You could, uh, with I think a different mod as well, you could change the age of the, the tree that you're trying to place as well. And then you can come in and put these wherever you want as well. But that is the Anarchy mod. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.